For today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on how to simplify trigonometric expression. In simplifying trigonometric expression, we have different kinds of identities that you need to remember. The first one is the reciprocal identities. Reciprocal identities consist of sine theta equals 1 over cosecant theta, cosine theta equals 1 over secant theta, tangent theta equals 1 over cotangent theta, cosecant theta equals 1 over sine theta, secant theta equals 1 over cosine theta, and cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta. So aside from reciprocal identities, we have quotient identities. And that is tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta. And of course, we have the Pythagorean identities. Pythagorean identities consist of cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1. 1 plus tangent squared theta equals second squared theta. And lastly, we have 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. So those are the different identities that you need to remember in order for us to simplify trigonometric expressions. So let's start. Let's have an example. On example number 1, we have cosine squared theta times the quantity tangent squared theta plus 1. In simplifying trigonometric expression, we need to express each term of the expression in terms of sine and cosine. Since we all know that we have 1 plus tangent squared theta, which is equal to second squared theta. Tangent squared theta plus 1 is same as 1 plus tangent squared theta. And 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta. So to simplify this one, let us rewrite cosine squared theta and let us change tangent squared theta plus 1, that is secant squared theta. And the reciprocal of secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. So let us rewrite cosine squared theta and let us change secant squared theta as 1 over cosine squared theta. So we can cancel this one. It will give us 1. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta plus tangent squared theta. We all know that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is same as cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. And the value of this expression is equal to 1. So let us rewrite this one as 1 plus tangent squared theta. And 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta. So the value of 1 plus tangent squared theta is second squared theta. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have cosine squared theta over 1 minus sine theta minus sine theta. So to simplify this one, let us use the identity cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1. And if we are going to move sine squared theta on the side of 1, it will give us cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. So the value of cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So let us write cosine squared theta as 1 minus sine squared theta over 1 minus sine theta minus sine theta. And to simplify 1 minus sine squared theta, let us use the sum and difference of the same term. For example, if we have a squared minus b squared, it will give us a plus b times a minus b. So let us write 1 minus sine squared theta in terms of sum and difference of the same term. So this will be 1 plus 
sine theta times the quantity 1 minus sine theta. So if we are going to multiply 1 plus sine theta and 1 minus sine theta, it will give us 1 minus sine squared theta. So let us rewrite the denominator that is 1 minus sine theta minus sine theta. So we can cancel this one. It will give us 1 plus sine theta minus sine theta. Sine theta minus sine theta, that is 0. So our answer will be 1. On example number 4, we have second squared theta minus tangent squared theta plus 1 all over cotangent squared theta plus 1. We all know that the reciprocal of second theta, that is 1 over cosine theta. So let us write second squared theta as 1 over cosine squared theta minus, let us have 1 plus tangent squared theta which is equal to second squared theta. So the value of tangent squared theta plus 1 is same as 1 plus tangent squared theta which is equal to second squared theta. So the value of this expression is second squared theta over, let us have the denominator, let us have 1 plus cotangent squared theta, which is equal to cosecant squared theta. So cotangent squared theta plus 1 is same as 1 plus cotangent squared theta. And the value of this expression is cosecant squared theta. So let us have cosecant squared theta on the denominator. And then let us rewrite 1 over cosine squared theta. And the reciprocal of secant is 1 over cosine. Since we have second squared, this will be 1 over cosine squared theta divided by cosecant squared. The reciprocal of cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. Since we have cosecant squared theta, this will be 1 over sine squared theta. So let us have 1 over cosecant squared theta minus... To simplify this one, let us have 1 times sine squared theta, and that is sine squared theta written in the numerator. And let us have cosine squared theta times 1, that is cosine squared theta written on the denominator. Since we have the same denominator, let us just simply copy the denominator, which is cosine squared theta. And let us have 1 minus sine squared theta on the numerator. Since we all know that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1. And if we are going to move sine squared theta on the side of 1, this is cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. So the value of cosine squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta. So we are going to change 1 minus sine squared theta as cosine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta. So cosine squared theta divided by itself, it will give us 1. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have cotangent squared theta plus 1 all over tangent theta plus cotangent theta. So to simplify the given expression, let us express each term of the expression as sine and cosine. Since we all know that 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta, so if we are going to have cotangent squared theta plus 1, which is same as 1 plus cotangent squared theta, so the value of this expression is cosecant squared theta. So let us have cotangent squared theta plus 1, which is cosecant squared theta, and the value of tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta. So let us have sine theta over cosine theta plus the value of cotangent theta is cosine theta over sine theta. So this will be cosine theta over sine theta. So let us simplify. 
So the reciprocal of cosecant is 1 over sine. Since we have cosecant squared theta, this will be 1 over sine squared theta over, let us have the LCM of cosine and sine, and that is cosine theta sine theta. So let us have cosine theta sine theta divided by cosine, it will give us sine. And sine multiplied by sine is sine squared theta. And then cosine theta sine theta divided by sine theta, the sine will be cancelled, it will give us cosine multiplied by cosine that is cosine squared theta. And to simplify, this will be 1 over sine squared theta and the value of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So we are going to change this one as 1 over cosine theta sine theta. And to simplify, let us have 1 times cosine theta sine theta that is cosine theta sine theta and then 1 multiplied by sine squared theta that is sine squared theta and this time let us rewrite the denominator as sine theta sine theta because sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta and then let us have the numerator that is cosine theta sine theta. Let us cancel this one. It will give us cosine theta over sine theta. And cosine theta over sine theta, that is cotangent theta. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.